Are you thinking about learning C Sharp so you can make games with Unity 3D? If so, in today's episode we're going to be starting a C Sharp tutorial and we'll be starting right at the very beginning with variables. So let's get going. <laughs> Welcome to the Unity MMO Developers Channel, where we are all about the business and tech of independent MMO development. If you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing and clicking the notification icon so you will always be notified whenever I upload new content. Down in the description below is links to our Discord channel and Patreon page, which are really good resources if you want to join a game development community. In today's episode, we are going to be starting right at the very beginning of C-Sharp with variables, what they are, and what you use them for and everything. So let's jump right into the tutorial. So what is a variable? A variable is, the best way to describe a variable is it's a container for data. Um, when you're programming, there are going to be times where you want to store data and for using it later on in your class or program. And so you'll initiate a variable and you will store the data inside that variable. So basically it's just a container for data. Um, there are four main types of variables that we will be discussing in today's episode that you'll be using all the time. Um, if you want to store a text, all right, so if you want to store a text, it would be a string variable, and you would write that, and then name it some, um, you would name it whatever you wanted it to be named, so some string and then let's see the next variable type is a int or integer and that would be written out like this and that is a whole number from um, from negative all the way to positive, and what the maximum amount is, is dependent on the operating system that you're running, and whether you're running a 64-bit or a 32-bit system. And you can find out what the maximum is by using... Max value. And that would be max value in the negatives and max value into the positives. The next variable type would be a float. And that is a decimal. And it would be written out like this. And again, you can get the max value just like that. And the fourth type is a bool, which is true or false. Alright, so the absolute most basic program that you can create in any programming language is called the Hello World example program. And basically what you do is you write out a string to the console. So for Unity 3D, we are going to make the Hello World example, but I'm going to use these variable types.
and then to go to the console, you in Unity you would use the debug. And then we will have a printout some string. We'll have a printout some end. And we'll have a print out some floaters as well. So as long the way this is set up, as long as some bool is set to true, then it will print out the logs to the console. If it's set to false, then it will not. Now in Unity 3D, because these are set to public, which we'll get into that in the next video, but if, since these are set to public, then you will be able to access them through the Unity 3D um, editor. So you'll be able to change the values from the inspector. And here is the values. Now we hit play. And here we can see what the maximum values are for float and for the end. And we go to the console. And we can see that it's printing out. Now we change that to false. And it's no longer printing it out. Now some string we can change to... Um, hello... YouTube, set it to true, and now we say hello YouTube, and it's printing out the numbers again. Now let's change some end to, let's say, 100, and some float to negative 100.5. Set it to true. Now, hello YouTube, 100, and negative 100.5. So that's basically variables and how you would use them and stuff. Um, you can have your program do a whole bunch of stuff based on the variables. But we'll get into if statements and um, switch statements in the next video. So until then, have a great day.